Alan, <coughs> commiserations, but what a great performance. Unfortunately, we went out to a set piece. <coughs> That's the annoying thing, we, <coughs> it's a set piece. Um, we've done ever so well. So proud of the lads, but like I say, it's just that little thing that it, that'll stick with me for a good few days. Mm. You know, it takes some a little bit bit uphill to swallow because I thought we were just as good as them, if not better, especially in the first half. Mm. And I just didn't think we were, we, we created enough opportunities. But I say we know what's missing. Everyone knows what's missing, and it's finding that elusive number nine that's going to score them goals for you. Tomo was immense. He was fantastic, but. I'm taking so much away from his game by him playing there and Cam's is doing a fantastic work for us on the side, tracking back and everything. Jared's working his socks off, but everyone will see what's missing. And I've tried, I've worked mm. so hard over the weeks and months to try and bring a nine in and a goal scorer, but they're not cheap and they cost a hell of a lot of money. So mm. in the very rare, but I see, I kind of fault them lads tonight and so proud of them. So unlucky not to be in the lead at half time because there were. Opportunities there weren't there. Will Hatfield had the chance. Tomo tried his luck from long distance. Jarrett had a couple of openings. Huh? That's a annoying thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first half we should have probably, mm. if we take one of them chances, then the game does open up. You know, and I think them were looking at it the way they were set up. They, look, they were looking to get the set players. You could see the big diagonal balls that we're trying to play onto our full backs, and we defended them exceptionally well, to be honest. And it was just. That lapse of concentration again, which you get, unfortunately, when mm. you're a part-time club. When you're a full-time club, you've got that concentration, the fitness levels. You can work on things a lot more, and you get that. But we've got to accept it. It just wasn't a beat tonight, but it's, as I say, you kind of fall in there. So pleased for the fans that come. It's a great experience for everybody, isn't it? That'll stand us in good stead in the future. And here we are, trophy starting on Saturday, and that's the kind of thing that'll, that'll help us. That's what I've said to the lads. It's, Enjoy, we've enjoyed the occasion, we've loved it. Yes, we would have loved to have gone through, but we've got to start again. We've got to pick ourselves up, we've got a trophy game, and I said the levels don't drop. There's no way I'm accepting a Brackley performance mm. again. They've had the two performs against Wolves all way, they've hit the levels, and that's what we need every week. And we've got to make sure that it's out there every week. If it's not, there's something wrong. But I think you looked at the squad tonight, you looked at the bench, mm. and the, yeah. <laughs> there wasn't a lot there. I think the game was set up for probably to come, Justin to come on because the centre halves were mm. blown. But I say it's not fib putting the young kids onto that. Yeah. I wanted them to experience the occasion in the warm up and everything about it, but it's just not fair on them. I'm having to put Langy up top, and I say we've had rotten luck with injuries this yeah. year and suspensions <laughs> and international duty. It's just one of them things, but it'll turn. It's a compliment in a way, isn't it? That in the second half of the last 20 25 minutes or so, all sorts took fire across the back and they said, Come on, then, see if you can get the ball over us. Yeah, they did. You, you, as I say, I looked at their team, I think they made seven changes from mm. the team that we played down there. So we weren't sure what to expect, whether it was going to be back three or whatever, 3 4 3, but they set up in a similar system to ourselves. And I think their players, the danger players, McDonald and Gordon, once McDonald tired out I think mm. you could see that we were well on top of them but it, it was a compliment for them to do that but as I said to you in the first half that's the, the, the moment where we need to put the ball in the back of the net It's been a great run though hasn't it it's given everybody a lift uh, players, yourself, fans, officials everybody was enjoying it Yeah it's been absolutely great we've loved it you know. and this is what the FA Cup does for you, mm. but one thing I'm really pleased about is it's brought everyone back together, the club back together, the fans, the fans were immense, they're trying to enjoy the moments running mm. on the pitch here, it's, <laughs> sometimes it's probably been built up for that long, you know, after what mm. the club's been through, but hopefully they've enjoyed that, and the ones that have come back tonight, they've seen how good this team is, mm. yes we know we're not perfect, How what these mm. lads are giving you, they're giving you everything on that mm. pitch, and hopefully we can pull a few more of them floating fans back, if we can get this place like that every weekend it would be immense wouldn't it yeah. you know, it would give us so much more money to yeah. go forward and progress as a football club I know it's not just about that but it would even maybe look at developing this place and, and growing as a club not just the team as a club and we need them so all I ask is the fans to come back you've seen what the lads are doing just come back and enjoy and get behind them